Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to create a particle system which applies to the player or is spawned in when the player is falling. So this might be from when they jump and they start falling, or just if they are actually falling off of something. Essentially, there'll be a particle system. So this can obviously be whatever you want. In my case, I'm going to use the smoke one in the starter content for a few reasons. A, it's free. B, it kind of looks a bit like wind coming up, although not massively. And then also just because it kind of spawns in slowly and surely instead of just immediately being there. So I think that's going to look best for the free ones I can get at the moment. But obviously change it for what you want to make it look best for you. But you can use the same code I'm doing, just change which particle you use. So let me hit play and show you what we can make today. So if I were to walk off the edge here and just start falling down, you'll see the smoke is going to spawn in at my feet. And when we hit the floor, it's going to disappear. It doesn't have to be at the feet, it can be where you want and you can obviously have it take longer to spawn in. So for me, when I jump, it will spawn in there. So you can maybe have it wait a couple seconds to see if you're then still falling and then spawn. Obviously do whatever you want, but this is what we'll be going over and creating today. So we have a system in which a particle system is going to spawn in when the player is falling like this. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open up our character blueprint. So for me, that's content, third person BP, blueprints third person character now in here what we're going to do is right click and get event on movement mode changed now using this we can see if the player is falling and if that's the only thing they're doing so we don't have to do it when they press space to jump we don't have to do that we can see when they're actually falling so if we come out of new movement mode and get equal equal with the enum there we're going to change it from non to falling because we want to see if the new movement mode of the player is falling so let's hold down b left click to get a branch but that's the condition, just so we can see if this is true or false. True means we want to spawn in the particles. False means we want to despawn the particles. So true, again, what we're going to do is spawn emitter attached, because again, I want to attach it to the player. And the emitter template I'm going to be using, like I said at the beginning, is smoke. But obviously, use whatever you want, and you can obviously create your own or get your own from somewhere else as well, if that's what you wanted. And I'm just connecting it to the mesh, so it sticks with the player like this. I'm not going to change anything else because I don't need to and I don't really want to. This works for me, but obviously if you want it to be somewhere else, for example, you want it to be on the hand or their head or a different specified location around the feet, rotation scale, all that stuff, mess about with this to get it looking perfect for how you want. After that, we're going to right click the return value, promote it to variable, and we're going to name this particle ref or for reference like so. We'll compile and save that. Now the reason we created a reference to it there is because off of false of the branch, what we want to do is we want to get our particle reference we just created, right click it and convert to a validated get, connecting that into false. So a validated get is essentially just getting the particle reference and then getting an is valid. It's just all in one node. So again, it's the same thing because we want to see if it's valid because if it isn't valid, that means we haven't spawned it in yet. So we don't want to try and despawn it. So that is why we are doing this because this will obviously fire off every time we change. So if we are walking and then go to crouch, that's a different movement mode. So it will change it and obviously we're not falling. So it will go to false and that will then try to despawn something which isn't there. So we need to make sure we have it. So if it is valid, we want to just simply destroy it coming out of the particle reference there, destroy component and that is then going to despawn it and remove it. Then we want to set particle reference and just leave it like so and just leave it empty like that because that will then mean it isn't valid. So if we then start crouching, this is now not valid. So it's not going to start, try to destroy something which isn't there. So let's hit compile, save, and then it's that simple. That should now be the code done. So when we start falling, we're gonna spawn the emitter. When we stop falling, we're going to destroy it. And if we do change the movement mode to not falling, then obviously nothing's gonna happen. So let's hit play and test this out. If we just jump off the edge here, you'll see that the smoke is gonna spawn in when we are now falling. And as we hit the floor, it disappeared perfectly like so. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything you want to do. Again, just a really nice, simple and quick one, but it is also something which a lot of people wanted because again, it's a nice feature which a lot of games have, but you're not too sure how to implement it. And this is it. So again, this might be used for pushing up air against a player as they're falling or maybe sparks or anything really which you want to implement with this code. It just spawns in particles when the player is falling like this. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.